fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you leave. So, welcome to Royalty's World Lost Files. I want y'all to know I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Per use, you dig what I'm saying? Y'all go enjoy the content over here. It's going to be all the content that I react to on my Twitch channel that I don't necessarily put um, on my other two channels just because, I mean, I'm just not in the algorithm over there, y'all. So... Uh, these are the these are the videos that y'all be like, so you're not going to react to Dior? So you're not going to react to Queen of Clover? So I'll be reacting to all of them. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we about to get into this video, you dig? Let's get it. This year hasn't been... Yeah, Nick, we heard about the beef between you and Skip. I ain't even got no beef with Skip. What the fuck to say? What she say with her bald head ass? Like, Easy. Do you know what I mean? There's like a lot of things happen. We never we got wasn't to really, really be on the same on the page. Same. Good morning, y'all. It's the first video of 2023. And well, yeah, here we Thick are, me and Leggy outside enjoying some fresh air. He's on a trampoline. He wanted to get on a trampoline before he went to school. He don't even know he about to go to daycare. It's his first time back after. He had a whole week off. CJ is coming offended. back in about two days. So I'm excited for that. Clarence is upstairs sending off his footage. Oh wait, there he is. He was sending his footage. Yeah, What'd you say? Yeah. Oh, he about to use the leaf blower. I did not break honey leg, bro. Y'all got people DMing me that shit. I did not break honey leg. How could I break honey leg, bro? Tell me how. I ain't even do that. I ain't even do that. I might have seen honey once or twice. But I ain't breaking no legs. You know what I'm saying? I might have spoke a little hey bitch or whatever. You know what I'm saying? How we do. But I ain't break no leg. Y'all ain't gonna keep putting that on me. I'm hating. I'm hating on honey. Bet. Shit, Come crazy. on. Oh, that's cool. I love that. Here's a joy, here's a joy, here's a joy. Queen finally got to use her leaf blower. Here's a joy, here's a joy. Legend here. Vlog. Vlog, pop pop. Hold it. Hi, vlog. Hold it, hold it. Here, I'm gonna show you yourself. Say hi, vlog. see yourself? Hi, vlog. Here, hold the camera. Say, what's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Say, it's your boy, Legend. It's your boy, Legend. We in this thing. We in this thing. <laughs> Are you ready to go to school? <laughs> no. No. I'm wearing my New Balance's Clarence no. Wally for Christmas. I'm so no, excited. Bye. No. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to take them Tim's back tomorrow and get me some New Balance. I just gotta get out of here though before they freaking mess up. We decided that we we're gonna renew our tax to gay. To gay. To gay. To gay. Today, the place was closed today for us to go, so we're gonna try this kiosk at Kroger. Somebody had put yeah, it in the works. comments too. It was like, All y'all gotta do is go to Kroger. Oh, god, the kiosk work! <laughs> the kiosk works amazing too. The kiosk is very, very convenient. Conveniente. Right now, do it there. And like, I seen it, but I was like, What Kroger? But I looked it up, and it looks like we can do it. Kroger's bad vibes. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I don't like Kroger. going. To, like, well, who would y'all rather? Would y'all rather go to Publix or Kroger? Not everybody has Publix a Publix. Yeah. All right. Would you rather go to your local supermarket? Because everybody's shit is different. Kro I don't know. Kroger, lie, Kroger in, in, give in me the Bronx, like. We don't got Publix either, so I felt that. I do feel that. Kroger just not trying to be like you know bougie or anything, but Kroger just Kroger give me unkept. I ain't gonna lie. Kroger ratchet is fuck. However. Them food stamps do very well up in Kroger. Because when we go to Publix, okay? When we go to Publix, we get 12 things. The tab is $173. You go to Kroger, and you get 24 things. 
the tab is $74. You get what I'm saying? So, they do have bougie Kroger's, just not in, in, if they, they, so I used to live over there where Clarence lived. He said he was like 12 minutes from my house. And I, I know y'all don't like to hear that, but whatever. The, the Kroger's over there are terrible. They are. However, the Kroger's by two crib is fine. I went to a Kroger out there by two crib. It was a little further up past two crib. But that Kroger was bougie as hell, okay? But the Kroger's by where I used to live, terrible. One of the Kroger's by where I live is kind of all right. But it ain't like Toots Kroger. I can't explain it. It's just be packed. But that shit I feel like it's like... It'd be like it's mania in there. Like a lot of like, bad stuff happens at Kroger. Like yeah, I've been in a Kroger parking lot, and a guy was walking around with a freaking crowbar, like in the parking lot, and just being crazy. The police was up there. I would have shot him. Oh shit! Oh, this nigga. Like I would have like. Dang, you, man. You, know, you got near me. I'm just saying, you got near me with a no, crowbar. Give up, he was just walking around like yeah, with a crowbar, but he was off some up. drugs though too. Yeah, I don't so the yeah. police had to. Yeah, yeah. Go that stuff yeah. again. You guys, we didn't like tell y'all. Seatbelt, bro. Like, who needs seatbelts? You gotta have it to be safe. Oh, bro, I'm going 20 miles per hour right now. Still, I do not need a seatbelt. It's the law. No, but the car should only start blinking if it goes. I heard men are like really, really hard to like deal with when it comes to shit like that, seat belts and like detoxing. Like, I don't think they understand all the food that they eat sticks to their prostate. Like real nigga shit. It's almost like the food that they eat was designed to stay in their ass. And they don't want to fucking detox that shit out. I'm just saying because like my, my uncle passed away from um, pancreatic cancer. He was at stage four before he knew you know what I'm saying? What the fuck was going on? Rest in peace. Um, but like, I heard it's so hard to like get them to do shit. And girl, I would have lost my fucking mind. <laughs> I would lose my mind. Over a certain amount. And they won't listen. So y'all, we gonna start this new year off right. We are going to make some changes within ourselves. I can honestly say that together we were not as productive as we thought we was gonna be like the beginning of the year. You know how you go into a new year and you like, new year, new me, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, da, da, da. We had plans and like, yeah, <laughs> kind of slack on those plans. So it's a lot of things that we're gonna be trying to do different and better this year. We're gonna sit down and really. Okay, we're gonna sit down um, and talk about it. Talk about the year, you know, talk about yeah. maybe a little bit of life. It's, it's, it makes sense why women, you know, respectfully do live longer than men. Because when, when women hear about some shit that's going on with the body, women be like, oh, hell no, nah, bitch, let me go ahead and correct. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck is going on here? Especially when it's dealing with like your colon. Like, and I look at men when they order food from like restaurants and shit, and they all order the same, for the most part, the same shit. A burger, uh, a steak, uh, fries, potatoes, you know what I'm saying? It's always like some bullshit, ribs, you know what I'm saying? And instead of detoxing that shit out, they keep it in. And then when you get to talking to them about detoxing, they like, I ain't got to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you mean? Like, they don't think they need anything. And, y'all, I feel like as women, we know, like, our period can take us up out of here. <laughs> a pregnancy can take us up out of here. So, even with, with food, it'd be like, all right, bitch. Like, I know when my body not feeling right. You know what I'm saying? A man would be like, God damn, boy, my chest hurt real bad, but I'm still about to drink this fucking beer. <laughs> Sir, if your chest is hurting, eat a salad. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you have to shit. You know, maybe it's gas. You know what I'm saying? Like, something is wrong, though. So how about, okay, we not eat this steak because your damn chest is hurting, which it could be gas. Man, it ain't gas. How you gonna tell? It's just a never end the cycle and girl, men. Last year, a little bit of what we expect from this year. We just vlogging a little bit. But when we sit down, we definitely going to get into that. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Make stay sure y'all smash that like button, too. Make sure y'all leave a comment. Because y'all niggas be being petty, bro. How many of y'all know y'all license plate never by heart? Because I don't. Absolutely we are at Kroger's. Do it don't look like bad vibes, eh? Not at nah, this that's thing. actually a bougie Kroger on y'all side. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we live in a bad Kroger area. But this don't look like bad vibes. It looks actually, like, updated. But let's go see y'all. Ground floor is that idea. 
We found it. Okay. Cool. I got two whips. Let's redo both. <laughs> All right. Boom, boom. Damn, they make it way easier. That's what I'm like, saying, baby. Oh, we might I have to start doing here. How much is it going to say? $480. Okay, wait, this one's going to be like $50. That this is not hard like at all. $60. See, I $40. told you it's going to be $40. $40. Well, $53. So. Oh, well, I told you it's going to be $50. Oh, God. When I went, that shit was like $24. I was like, baby, are you fucking kidding me? In Charlotte, that should be $150. That's why niggas don't ever want to pay it in Charlotte. Like, bro, I got to pay my taxes on the car. They be like, how much the taxes? $249. <laughs> nah, go to Kroger, that motherfucker, $10. You be like, bet. <laughs> this is legit. He got it. This is the bench. <laughs> That's so funny because, like, we really didn't know nothing I'm about this. So we're going to come back to next December. We're going to try this place called Cafe Bourbon. But Queens. And then to be on, like, a, a it's on your birthday. Shirt, so I don't know. I mean, we can always oh, get some healthy oh. anywhere, you know? They got Cafe jambalaya Bourbon. egg rolls. Y'all remember when we went to Cafe Bourbon? Oh. I'm very fat. It's like a... What it sound like to you I when you hear food. bourbon? Bourbon? I, I hear like some sort of fucking love food. sauce. I hear like some sort of like New Orleans sauce. $240 in California? Yeah, it's in New Orleans. Friend, how much your insurance? Because I think that nigga Dub says insurance like 2000 However, you can opt out of insurance in California. Ain't that some shit? You can't opt out of insurance in Georgia. However, if you lapse, they do give you time to pay. In Charlotte, if you lapse, you have to get a whole new insurance, bro. Life is just different in different states. Real New Orleans food by Real New Orleans family. I seen them on TikTok. It's like a small nah, cafe family. bourbon. Like, bourbon. You want to go? Yeah. How far is it? It's not that far. To the Cafe wings. Bourbon, we Boss. go. This place looks very familiar. I think we did a video here. Bro, our rims are not even black, but they're blacked out. That's because it's so dirty. The food's hollow. <laughs> when I first met TT, quit story time. When I first met her, they got a food truck, y'all. Appreciate the resale, friend. They got a food truck, right? Bitch. TT said, I'm going to the food truck today. Goddamn. I'll um, see you later, right? So I'm like, all right, bet. Bitch. Four or five hours have passed. And I'm like, where are you? Y'all, she was still at the food truck. And the line was like on the sidewalk. I'm like, TT, ain't that food ain't that fucking good. Child, she ordered me something. That food that fucking good. Hey, chicken. Probably some chicken. They got, they got chicken and bananas. Is it bananas or beignets? It's beignets. 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 <laughs> You're always tempting me, y'all. See, I told y'all. So it's because of that. I'm not gonna lie. And, I, and the crazy shit, I went. I click. You know, you can click. You go on the gram. The owners follow me. So I'm like, oh, if you show me love, I gotta show y'all love. I'll do the bourbon straight wing basket. Okay, so you wanna do a five or eight piece? I'm hungry, so I do eight piece. You was gonna eat all that chicken, babe. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, do an eight. So I can try one. <laughs> okay, so for your fry, you wanna do a Cajun fry or the bourbon ranch fry? Oh my god. I do. <laughs> What's better? So the burger ranch is like a forty dollar fry. Clarence, his, his, his eyes be bigger than his stomach. Come up from, oh my god. I like the I do the burger ranch. Y'all know us. We love food. We don't all eat. That's about us. I to tell people, like, you just trying to go with Queen and Clarence go. You just trying to go with Armand and Regine go. If food is involved, you're absolutely right. Fuck. <laughs> Man, the food in Atlanta, y'all, is so good, bro. The food in Atlanta be like. So when a place is on TikTok, I'm out. Do y'all know nowadays I be like, baby, I want to go out to eat today. Go look on TikTok. What the fuck is you talking about? I got to look on the top. I want to do the egg roll too. Okay. And I'll take a Sprite and then whatever she wants. I will take a, um, I'll do a Cajun fry shrimp basket with Cajun fries. <laughs> I really want to try that bourbon sauce. Can I have that on the side? You want to try the bourbon sauce? And then can I do uh, beignets? That boy is sick. So hold on, I don't think she got to Oh, okay. no. Instead of them doing chicken and waffles, they do chicken and beignets. Oh. Appreciate the sub, friend. Chicken. Hey, Nick. Hey, friend. Chicken and beignets. Instead of chicken and waffles. Oh, she do? You be looking so cute when you about to eat. Like, you look ready. All right, y'all. It's time to open this stuff up. Oh, this oh. is yours. Oh, that look busting. 
Rice and egg rolls. Rice and egg This looks like mine. My lord, it's mine right here. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. You know what? I'm so petty because people be trying me. Like, hey, y'all got me fucked up. Because people really be trying me, bro. Like, you out here trying to go where they go. Shame. I gotta look up my evidence just so people don't be trying me. <laughs> Cafe bourbon. Do you dig what I'm saying? Leave me the fuck alone. She be trying to find when they never. I like food, bitch. <laughs> That's so powdery. Yes. Is it busted? I only taste the brown sugar. Food be tasting better when you are. Look at that. When you eat with your hands. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Still clean. Nah, cause niggas be trying to burn this candle last night. Fuck the one that he bought about. for New Year's. If y'all haven't seen his vlog, y'all probably will. Everybody but in it smells so good. good. Y'all walked in. Not and each other. Smells... And I ended up putting these flowers that he bought me <laughs> in vases. Fit. And it looks so nice, y'all. Usually I just keep them in the bag and just kind of let them die. <laughs> I sniff them and let them die, but I think from now on when I get flowers, I'm just start putting them in a vase. I think that's stupid just to just let them go to waste. So it's so pretty, don't it? So the title of this video is Really nigga. Okay. It's New Year, <laughs> New Us. New um, Year! I know it sounds very cliche. Everybody's always like New Year, New Me. But it's time to turn up. It's time to turn up. I wrote down some things. Well, me and Clarence both agree they're like some things that we want to bring into 2023 before we get into this though we did have like a little meeting we had like a talk long talk yesterday so this is not just coming from anywhere this is things we genuinely want to achieve and do this year you know what i'm saying yeah, we, wanna, we got to you we got to handle things a little different you know what i'm saying I'll, I'll, and we want you guys to hold us accountable too you know they've been holding us accountable it's just that we gotta we gotta work Respect it's it, been you before you get into that list. I just want to speak a little bit on this year hasn't been like easy Do you know what I mean? There's like a lot of things Happened this year like nothing, nothing crazy just probably personal like mentally Yeah, for um, like mental health is real. Yeah, like mm. if, if you feel like you're battling with yourself every day and you don't know what it is and what you can do you might have you know, some you mental cloudness, mental blocks, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But just tell someone is all. That, that, that would be my advice, is tell someone. This year hasn't been that easy, I feel. I'm sorry, I'm gonna really be talking through this because y'all know I just went through that. And um, I felt the need to speak to y'all, not because I feel like y'all my fucking, uh, um, what's it called? <laughs> Can't fucking think of it. Do y'all know that when I'm thinking of like a hundred things at once, it never, like it clouds my brain. I definitely, therapy, I need to go to therapy about that shit. But um, yeah, to, to go to, y'all not my therapist, but like I wanted to just speak, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you should just speak too, you know? Y'all can, everybody judges me, I don't give a fuck. I can do good, I'm judged, I can do bad, I'm judged. I just get judged, but nigga, fuck all that. You know, at least I let out what I wanted to say. I feel like, I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure she wasn't planning on getting this transparent, but mm -hmm. in the beginning sure. of the year, I was very Everybody. down and uh, like a little depressed, a little uh, with a mix of confusion. Like I just, mm -hmm. I was just out of it, you know, dealing with stuff with my dad and my family. It's just hasn't been the easiest year, you know what I'm saying? And then I feel like, again, I don't, I'm pretty sure, but like the later on in the year, like I got better. I went to therapy. It, it really did help, I, but I did get better. Started posting more and everything. And then I think later on, like the second half of the year, Queen <laughs> has, you know. I, uh, I really want to say like, I think even before tour, I had a good time on tour. Tour was amazing. But like, I think before tour, I just kind of got 
Like right after I finished my album, I don't know why, I thought I was super just certain about life and where it was going. And I just kind of got super lost. Like I, even after tour, I just got really just, I don't know y'all, I don't know why, but. Nah, we all going through that shit. I'm not even gonna hold you because everybody is saying the same fucking thing. Have y'all not noticed everybody saying that same shit and they don't know what to call it? It's like one minute, I'm just like, Lit in life, and then the next minute, I just I don't know what happened. No, you you know what I'm saying, and like we all just like I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how I'm feeling. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to call it. Like we all literally going through the same shit. Just really sad. Just like depressed. It's like not in the best not moods. Right. Not as uh, happy. Like some days I'll be laughing, and it still be something going on. Like, yeah. but just something worried. Like anxious. Like anxious yes. about something. Just the 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 fear of like unknown of what's gonna yes. happen next. Yeah. And like, yeah. but I I also want to say like just for me, I I was slacking on therapy for one. I was slacking on my relationship with God for one. Like, cause you could go to church every Sunday and still not like intake those things and like really i feel like one of my things is like i really want to start trusting god and having more faith like in him and just like just finding joy because we're not gonna always have the happiest moments but just having just joy in the inside and peace even if everything seemed crazy so yeah i have been down like the last part of um we're saying this year <laughs> but it's really like 2022 being in a relationship like when your partner is down it could affect you too i That's didn't amazing. say it you know i really didn't talk about it you could just he could just see it we just was because your partner has an empty cup and then you start pouring into your partner and you fill up their cup and then your cup emptied in a motherfucker and then it's hard for your partner to pour back into your cup that's exactly what the fuck me and tt just went through <clears throat> I met her. She poured all the way into my cup. I had to pour all the way back into her cup. And then her cup became empty again. So I had to pour back into her cup again. And then I'm empty again. That shit is fucking crazy. You know. But I'm glad that we all are honest about it. I'm glad that we're not alone either. I'm glad we go. To be honest, I was, I was so happy to hear that other people was going through this shit. And you know, y'all, they never transparent with us. But this is amazing because, nigga, we really going through shit out this bitch. Real shit. As soon as he got up, I got down. Yeah. And it's like, I was like, so we never, down. like this year, I feel like we never we got wasn't to really, really be on the same on the page. Same we page. haven't really yet. We're on the same way because, like, I, I was know. gone every month doing a show every month. I always had to travel and leave. Even before tour, I, I did a show literally I every show month, now. 2022. And then when I went on tour, it was a month I and a half away from the kids for the first time, away from him for the first time. I had fun like with people that was there, but like still, I was just stressed out about other things at home. I know my career and my album is like one thing, but if stuff at home is just like not fully settled, it just don't, like it don't feel right. right. It feels like yeah. something is missing. Mm -hmm. But however, with all that stuff being said, we're trying to be in higher spirits and we're trying to- For um, sure. We're trying to like do 2023 better from the beginning. It doesn't mean that we're not gonna like sometimes have those little moments, but as long as you get get back up and keep keep pushing. So yeah. to anybody out there that has felt the same way, 2020. Yeah, what I learned from my shit <laughs> is accept the moment, embrace the moment, and start talking, bro. You know what I realized is I had to talk. You know, cause before I, when I told y'all I was going through shit, I couldn't speak. I didn't know what to say. I feel like I was going through this shit before everybody. But anyway, um, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to feel. I didn't know what to do. And now it's just very important to speak, bro. So if I come on here and get to talking my shit, y'all know what it is. And I don't give a fuck neither. <laughs> you know, I, you know, one thing about people, they're going to judge you regardless, bro. They judge you when you're doing good. They judge you when you're broke. They judge you when you're... When you're up, like, saying, so whatever, whatever makes me feel better, that's what I'm going to do. To, um, just keep know, going. you can, yeah, keep going, keep get back going, up, man. get back up. Keep um, going and talk to somebody, man. Word. Talk to somebody, man. pray. With that being said, I wrote down, well, we both decided on five things, because we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. Five things we want to do and bring in, um, bring into 2023. Into this so, new year, yep. Do you want to? 
You want to start first? Yeah, sure. This one's probably coming from me, so it's only right. Um, wake up earlier. Uh, you don't gotta put this. <laughs> you, you, I was just she saying. wrote, "Early bird gets the worm, even if we gotta stay up late." The conversation we had yesterday is, I feel like. Again, we're very blessed and fortunate to wake up and kind of make and create oh, our own me. schedule day to day. Mm -hmm. But in order to be successful and get the maximum out of like what you're doing in your work and your passion or whatever, you got to work hard at it. I feel like we've taken it for granted mm -hmm. a little bit. Too comfortable. Um, but a little too comfortable. If you don't treat something with importance, like how do you expect like that to make you important or to to reap any benefits from something so i feel like waking up and just deciding we're gonna do youtube today is just not good and it it's not it doesn't create a good workflow just getting things done earlier in the day see that's what i changed in 2022 was treat my shit like it's a business you know what i'm saying because when you don't treat it like it's a business it will not treat you good bro it's just like my dad always told me, take care of your car. Your car won't take care of you. You know what I'm saying? So I treat it like a business. However, my sleeping schedule is terrible, been terrible. And I feel like it's going to be terrible to the day I die. Hey, so then before we have the rest of the day to do whatever we want to do. Relax, chill. We have separate things to do. Spend He's time with yeah, each other. Yeah, for a fact. I definitely want to do that more too this year. I definitely want to spend more time together. And I'm going to be honest, y'all. I, <laughs> Claire says I have a sleeping problem. Queen struggles with sleeping. I struggle really bad. Like, I I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's maybe I need to take some vitamins or maybe like, I feel like I never really get to rest even if I'm sleeping. Mm. Like, I feel like my mind is still running at a million miles per hour. I don't wake up feeling rested, you know? Like, I'll go to bed at like 12 or one and wake up maybe at 11 in the morning and I feel like, dang, I'm still tired Exhausted. throughout the day. I just don't, I don't wait, like that. Wait, wait, you do what? I don't wake up feeling rested, you know? Like, I'll go to bed at like 12 or 1 and wake up maybe at 11. In the First of all, that's absolutely too long because you really feel sluggish when you sleep too long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. She's sleeping for 11 hours. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, have y'all noticed you be like, yo, I slept all day and I'm still tired as fuck. It's because you slept too long. Also, though, what I noticed, if you ain't taking vitamins, like I told y'all the other day, I'm tired as shit. But we wasn't sleeping for 11 hours. I'm over here sleeping for five. Last night, I went to, this morning, I went to sleep at 7 a.m. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. I woke up at 1 o'clock. I slept for six hours. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not tired, by the way. Um, I felt like I was. Like, I felt a little cloudy. I almost be feeling like my blood pressure be high or something, which I need to check out. But I I got over it. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday, y'all, one thing about lime juice, like real nigga shit. No, it's, a, it's lime juice. Kevin Gates said, if you ever tired, really, he, the nigga say when you wake up, drink lime juice. And me and TT started doing that shit. Lime juice wakes you the fuck up. You take a shot of lime juice, I swear to God, y'all will not be upset. It's pure lime juice. It costs like $6. It's a real small um, bottle. It's a glass bottle. Y'all need to drink that shit. You, I'm telling you, you're going to be up. That shit is amazing. Um, so, yeah. In the morning, and I feel like, dang, I'm still tired throughout the day. I just don't, I don't like that because they don't allow me to get the things done. They don't allow me to have a productive day. I just feel like if you wake up earlier, like, you can have your full day. And it feels like you got a lot. You ever wake up at, like, 6 a.m. and, like, you realize you got so much done before, like, freaking 12 noon? And it's like, wow, like... It's a great feeling. So we want to do that more often. I think it'll be better on both our schedules, less pressure on both our schedules if we just... Yeah, because there, there's early. other things that we want to uh, do outside of YouTube. So we could be using the... The time after we get our videos done, we can be using that time to, oh, to strategize for the other things. I know me, y'all. I've, I've been wanting to put out a onesie line. I'm not going to lie. I've had my onesie samples freaking since before um tour started last year so that was like i had i was supposed to release those onesies i want to say around thanksgiving Maybe they and, I, and i didn't get a chance to because i just like i never really got around to it and i just yeah. i don't know but yeah, if I have more time in my day use my like time more wisely maybe way? stay off of my phone yeah. scrolling so much yep then i can get those yeah, things I done i want to check my emails more and like you know just 
I don't know, like just spend my time usefully and just have the rest of it. Just so yeah, right the fuck up yourself. That's that. Back to you, Jim. <laughs> Are you gonna read the second one? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was waiting. Um, okay, the second one I would say investing more into YouTube. We had our channel too long to not be further. When I say further, I don't mean like have more like subscribers or anything like that because of course you gotta do the work to get more subscribers and stuff like that. But I, I think taking it more serious as a real job. Like, um, I know last night me and Clarence talked about quality. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. <laughs> we had a little debate. Yes, <laughs> we had a debate because like, I like the cameras that like, you know, throw a little filter on my face if I need it because like, I be having pimples sometimes and sometimes I just care about how I look on camera. Like, I really want to look my best on camera because everyone, I feel like everyone is looking at me. But anyway, in order to improve the quality, like, I just gotta get beside myself to like, be okay with maybe a, a better quality camera that may show every <laughs> crevice of my freaking skin. I ain't gonna lie, Queen been in her way for so long, bro. She been in her own way for so long, and I just, I don't understand it. Like, you're beautiful. What are we doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't get it. Here you are with whatever the fuck that is on your face. And nigga, I don't even see that. I see those glasses. You know, I see her hair is done. It's looking good. I, I see the ambiance of your crib. You know what I'm saying? Her lips is looking plump. You know what I'm saying? Lips looking plump. Honey, the glasses are Gucci. What are we doing? Our palm? What are we doing? <laughs> this nigga is beautiful and has always been. And she just, gosh, she just put a brick wall right in front of her. Every chance she get. I just don't get it. But. <laughs> I just, we got a new camera and I, I wanted to use, start using it for I both my for channel. You. Yeah, both of my channel and but. For certain videos, we could use it for the, oh, the queen just to like improve quality. Yeah, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I just want to move up, you know what I mean? Like that's that, that's all. Like we, we started with the vlogging camera. We still have the vlogging camera. There's nothing wrong with the vlogging camera. Yeah. There's a tons nice. of families that use it still and they're huge, yeah. even bigger than us. So I'm not saying there's nothing against using a vlogging camera. I just wanted to see us maybe go up, you know, yeah, like, like maybe level give up with it. And, and give you guys something so better to see. but the better camera doesn't have this filter. I'm not a huge fan of the filter. Um, yeah, because a uh, guy's never a huge yeah, fan, but y'all know girls it like it looks weird on me, bro. I've looked like I'm a Barbie doll. Y'all see doll all something. these, the, yeah, um, y'all see all this like pink stuff? Doll. That's literally me trying to get rid of all my pimples, but you can't. I feel like yesterday, what our debate was like, you can't. Like, I don't know, I just, I'm not a girl, so I don't understand, but I just think we could, I don't know. It's, to, to <laughs> not feel like I to, care too much. Not, not care really? too much, but not to not move on or not to move up in quality because you oh, feel comfortable. Pimples? Like sometimes you have to feel uncomfortable, like, you know? Like you just, you just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but that, that was our little debate. Let us know what you guys think. You guys think we should up the quality, like of the camera and the lens, like. Or... Like, when I look at Queen, like first of all, her eyelash, her eyebrows are done to the motherfucking T. Do you hear me? Um, Her eyelashes, hello, are just fumigating from them glasses. I mean, the eyelashes. You look like you could just go across them motherfuckers like that and they won't do nothing. They gonna sit there, okay? The glasses is absolutely on point. Like I said, lips is plump, skin looking amazing, hair looking amazing. And then it's like, but she, you know, she's felt this way about her own self forever and Lord, it, has, it drove me crazy then and it drives me crazy now. It's like... Can't nobody tell me I'm not fine, y'all. <laughs> nobody. Now, I know that I want to lose weight. You know what I'm saying? A bitch gain more gain my weight, but no, I didn't gain all the way back. But, you know, I gained some of my weight back, but that still ain't about to stop me from doing no motherfucking video. Fuck all these folks. It ain't gonna stop me from switching the lens. Uh uh. None of that. I don't care. <laughs> 
So I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's annoying, bro, but whatever. It's how or, she feel. Or like, are y'all okay It ain't about this? me. Like, just keep it's the about filter. her. Don't do that. We can take the filter off this camera. Okay. Giveaways. I feel like we are so blessed and fortunate and like I just want to give back like yes. like there are a lot of people who support us that That want things and like that even need things like I like I said I've seen the comments about like Single parents and stuff like that and I just want to um just do more giveaways even if it's not electronic stuff We could do like uh, cash app giveaways. We could do uh, nice gift cards and things like that Maybe like a, a nice little trip or something. I want to do more giveaways because I feel like you guys pouring to us, so we should be pouring into you guys. For sure. You understand? And I know, I wish that I could help the whole, everybody who subscribed to us. I wish I could help everybody, but you know, giveaways is just like. A way we could do that. Try to We could give back, yeah. yeah. Try to give back to someone, make somebody, um, make someone's day special. Um, exclusive you. content. Oh, that's well that, that's outside of YouTube. Facebook, I know, oh my Lord, I feel so embarrassed. We went and made that, that our Facebook page still says Royal Family Uncut. And we was like, y'all, <laughs> I went in that row, I was like, we'll be posting in a week from now. <laughs> Bruh, if I go look at the date, let me go look at my Facebook. The Royal Family Uncut, we- and Do you know how much money? Damn, I gotta move this. Do you know how much money that nigga Clarence could make from Facebook? Even my to God, and I hope he over there. But if you got a following, and them people going to go over there. Like, I would need all 184 of y'all to go follow me on Facebook right now. Matter of fact, let's let's go ahead and do that. Because I need a thousand fucking followers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For the monetization. But, y'all. If you already a big uh, influencer. And you use your fucking Facebook. Like, DDG is your friend, Clarence. This nigga DDG done made like $90,000 in a month on Facebook. Um, my Facebook is Royalty's World. Y'all need to go, y'all need to go follow my shit right now. Cause bitch, we we taking our talents to Facebook this year. I keep saying that, but I fucking mean it. I, I'm at 267 followers, but it's Royalty's World. And I never promote it anyway. So that's the problem. Never promote the shit. So that that problem is at the top of my list. <laughs> but it's royalties world. Y'all go ahead and follow me right now. Need that. Cause I need to post all my fucking videos over there. We still have this page, y'all. Wait. It's We're not even the royal family anymore. Not even the name of the how, how many followers are there? Four k likes, four point six. Okay. It's We're not even the royal family anymore. It's not even the name of the channel. Anymore. It's not like what was my friend? What's up, y'all? It's Queen. If you came from my IG story, we in this like a G string. Bear with us, y'all. We will be posting content as early as next week. <laughs> that was January twenty third, twenty twenty one. That means we're back to square one. We probably made that, we probably made that as a goal and we never completed it. Like we never went and did the exclusive content on Facebook. Like I feel like we need to take advantage of like the Thank world that we live in now, the social media. Like it's social media and as much as like we freaking talk about social media and hate it, it's like a blessing and a curse. We can use it for good things. Plan better, plan together, strategize even for things like trips, photo shoots, etc. Um, <laughs> so we're not the best organizers or planners. Or when I, um, that's why we're kind of in a dire need of like an assistant. If we do plan something, it's last minute, so we end up paying a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every trip you've seen us go on, <laughs> we, it's been planned like days before or like a, yeah, week, before. a week before. Like Thank we've you. never planned in like in time to get prepared we before, always you know what I mean? We're always just rushing. I think this year, um, especially for like the holidays, I think this year was like very slow with the holidays and it kind of made like- Put a damper on things. Yeah, it kind of made us realize that like, bro, we like- we ain't. How long did I take to get a thousand followers on YouTube? Hmm. Probably like six months. 
Six months to a year. I honestly don't remember. But probably like six months to a year, y'all. Y'all, anything that pops on YouTube, I'm on it. I've been like that since I started. So, pranks is popping. You want to do them? Yes, bet. Let's get to it. You dig what I'm saying? Do y'all get a W-2 from YouTube? Yes. Well, a 1090 or whatever you say. Whatever it is. I think it's a 1090, but yeah. Are you Royalties World TV? It's Royalties World. I got a Royalties World TV too, but I don't have that page no more. I can't get into it. Ain't, like, we ain't broke no more, you know? Like, we, like we could do things. Like, let's do things. Let's make memories out of, you know, the blessings that we have. So, just planning, you know? So, you're going to see, probably, hopefully, you're going to see more trips. Y'all love when we go on trips. Like, we get a lot of... Like, I noticed y'all be tuned in. We didn't go on vacation in. this year. Yeah, we didn't go on no vacation. But I, I ain't gonna lie. We didn't deserve to go on a vacation <sighs> this year. Because we didn't work hard enough. Yeah, we didn't. But, um... <laughs> but, like, we should already know what we're doing for freaking... Planning. Photo shoot. So, if there's Christmas coming up, we might have to plan a photo shoot a month before. Ahead of time. Because knowing it's Christmas. So, all the photographers are gonna Please, be booked. Well, right. Or out of town. Or with their families. So, you might have to do the Christmas photo shoot a, a month, month before, before Christmas. Don't think about it until like That's the 23rd. Effect. I know. <laughs> Even putting up the tree. Well, I tried to put up the tree earlier this year. Like... Around Thanksgiving time, but like even with the tree, y'all know how we are, bro. I feel like even down to the tree, we need to plan the tree. What color scheme do we want to do this year? I should be on Amazon shopping for the right balls. Like I'm yeah. sorry because like my tree this year was trash. I'm gonna be honest. I mean last year it was trash. Like next time I know what to do. I'm planning ahead. Cause babe, we we like you don't. I don't know. We just gotta plan. We need to just plan better, plan way ahead of time, make, make better more memories. memories. Yeah, yes, for fact. Next one. Um, yeah. I think this is just simple. We gotta expand our team. Absolutely. Yeah. It's weird. Like we're growing. But like the team is not growing. But the team is not growing and it, it kind of holds you into this like little bubble. Like nigga, you, you can't do everything by yourself. You can. You know it's more saying? an assistant too though. It's and I need, um, it not really even a editor cause I was gonna do that. But more so like I have a thumbnail person. And girl, I, y'all, I'm be cashing the fuck out on them thumbnails. Y'all know because y'all be seeing them. But the thumbnails is the most important part of the shit. But they videos be fucking fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I need to make more money. You know what I'm saying? They up. They up and they absolutely stuck. So, but this is my year to be up and stuck. But when that happens, I'm going to get a hell of a editor. The editor that I had was cool. But I just didn't feel like he was giving enough of what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want my shit to look like Travion shit. <laughs> so, um, but I know I'm going to have to pay. So, I'm cool with that. But, yeah, this year is going to be the year of that bag is about to go through the roof. And, y'all, this is the year of manifestation. So, don't be talking about I want to, I want to, I want to. I'm going to. Y'all need to I'm going to the shit out of yourselves this year. Understand that manifestation and, and, and doing things that you want don't start until you say you're going to do it. You have to know that you, you have to know what you want to do. And then you have to know that you can do it. And then you do it. Doing it is the last part, y'all. But you have to think of it first. You got to plan out. What is it that I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. I bet I'm going to get it done. Period. And you have to believe. Believing that is number one. You know what I'm saying? You need to talk to me before you fail. There's a lot of ways you can write out and not pay as much. Not talk to me before you fail. Friend, you don't think I'm already getting my taxes done? It's like, it's 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 more than that. I can't think of every I, all the titles, guys. Put down in the comments below, like, what you guys everything. think that we should have? Like, what kind of titles and people should we add to the team? Yeah. That's another thing we need to write down. But, like, for sure, like, an assistant we to help us. We both need an assistant. Yeah, we, yeah. And not just one. Like, she needs one in her own. Yeah, because like, I'm I need home. one. Like, it's, um, it's a lot. You're trying to do YouTube. And you're trying to do TikTok. Content. Let's just put content, all that into one. Content. Then, we got kids. Oh, so. that's a whole nother ball game. <laughs> then like, we, we got kids. So, we need a... Like, we was in line with getting uh, uh, in-house babysitter. Yeah, like... But we then that kind of fell through. So, now we got to look for another one. And yeah. it's like... It's a lot. So now that's two things. Then we have a business together. 
That's the YouTube. Then she has her music. I have what I got going on. I got my clothes. I got things that we're just both trying to accomplish. And it's hard to do it by yourself is all. Yeah. It really is. And I'm just now, I don't know why, but I'm like just now realizing it. Like, you know, like all my life, you just, I had to put my head down and say, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Or, or, or like, no, no, I can't trust that person. Like, but nigga, we're going to have to start trusting people. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's all about trial and error. Well, they, we might try something to... like that since the beginning, y'all. No cap. Thank you, honey. Son. I was trying to do shit for them in the beginning because I knew they needed some fucking help. Body and they might fall through, but that's why you just learn that and get someone else. Trying, yeah. yeah, I feel like uh, you know I've always been more of a trusting person, open. I feel like he kind of rubbed off on me a little bit, like his his just him and his side, <laughs> like they are from New York and stuff like that. So they just they 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 don't really trust people, and so it's just very hard. Yeah. I know, it's like hard. it's. Like, because, like, an in-house nanny, like, nigga, she... No, like, they in the house. I get they it. They in the house. Like, they in the house. They see things that not everybody gets to see. They got the code to your thing. Like, I be scared. I'm no, no, with your there. kids, though. I agree with that. Like, I, agree. I, I be scared I'm going to come in here and, like, fucking... Have you ever seen that, that, like, Fresh Prince episode when they came in the house and everything was gone? <laughs> oh, no, I never seen that. Like, everything just gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to trust think, somebody with your kid. I make think sure that's they my scariest them, thing. Make sure. That's one of my scariest things. If somebody assistant, doing something to my an kid. An assistant. You got to get him a card. Like, you got to, you know what I'm saying? He has to be able to buy stuff. Right. Like, it's just, it's, it's, he has to have your information. It's a, it's a lot, bro. It's a lot. It's just a lot of trust. And to be honest, it'd be a lot of people in our DMs, too. Like, hey, I want to be your assistant. Hey, I, but I don't know. Like, that I just seems so, no that's so hard. I'm sorry. Y'all that... need to do an email and have a fucking assistant interview. Put that, look for assistants on Fiverr and shit. They, t t task, uh, what is the shit called? Um, rabbit task or task rabbit. Y'all, they have people out here who are outsourced. On apps to do shit for you. You know what I'm saying? They need neat. Shut up. That's so hard. But I, I feel like sometimes you, that's where you find the gems. Like they people that's just really, but that's ever, also personally. tough. Because if you got somebody asking to be your assistant, that's yeah. kind of, I don't know how to, I don't want to, because it could be people in the comments like, like that probably have. Or that's I just don't want an assistant. TaskRabbit and Fiverr has saved me from a lot of shit. I just, or somebody working for us that's a supporter like a, yeah. or a, or you know, just knows too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would like someone just professional. Um, I think what we're gonna do is create an email, and we're yes. gonna have people yeah, um, how you use the sending resumes. their resumes to that email, that. and then we're gonna assist. pick from Please there. Let me know, that. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For, and we'll list the um, the job titles that we need and stuff, so you guys could just send your uh, resumes there. Hopefully, nah, we'll see how it goes. Like you know what I'm saying? But yeah. we do need help, and we realize it now, and we're trying. That's so crazy that we sitting here. We got almost 3 million subscribers talking about we need help. Like, because, <laughs> wow, we waited so long. By the way, you like my, bro. my hoodie. I'm wearing it today. I'm so happy. It's so cute. Okay. Um, Show them the purse. For oh. y'all that don't know, um, I do P.O. Box openings on my stream. One year, I sent me a purse. Yeah, y'all sent this purse. And, and I just want y'all to know that I did give it to Queen. I don't want y'all to like think it, I, I'm just, wearing it. <laughs> I just be ignoring <laughs> this shit for Queen. I actually do give her the stuff. Thank so. you, Zara. Yeah, so thank you for this purse, whoever it is. I wish I knew the name. I, I don't know. Um, okay, let's wrap this deal up. So, last one. I think you could. We can. You could start. All right, so the last one Not is enjoying life, the basking purpose. in the moments, and the, the people around them. us appreciating our blessings more. We mean that in the most most literal way possible like so wait virtual assistants can like handle all your like shit that you need to do on the phone and shit is what you telling me like bitch she can handle my thumbnails and talk to my editors and shit like that <laughs> let me know um we i yeah, think bitch, me and queen especially me and queen i don't know how everybody else oh, mind yeah, works that. like your regular entrepreneurs and like if you're an entrepreneur you know like like all you be focusing on is like your business and like your it's career or like what you doing and sometimes when you do that you kind of get lost what really matters it's not um money it's not success it's like sometimes family you know what i mean like salia are you fucking serious
five dollars an hour oh wow you forget about family you forget so about um friends you forget about um fun this is gonna this is it's gonna sound funny like we're very inconsistent hard workers like <laughs> I, I don't know if that makes sense. Even when we're not working, we're thinking about working or we're thinking about what we should be doing instead of just living in the moment. Um, go ahead, you wanna say? No, yeah, I'm saying even like in therapy alone, that was one of my things that I needed to work on. I'm always just like, it's so Can weird. I don't know which one it is. Do? Sometimes I'm just like going with the flow. Like I'm just literally going with the flow. Not in a good way though. I'm just like, Okay, we gotta get here, we gotta get here, we gotta hit, like, and I'm, I'm thinking about so much things that have to do, but short term, like not super long term, far away. His is like far away, like years ahead. I be thinking about what I gotta do next week, what I gotta do next, yeah. week, like what I gotta do next. It's so, sh but, but I never really get to, even when I get on stage, y'all, I'm sorry to say this, but like, all right, let me just get this over, we'll get it out. Instead of just really bash, Enjoying like, it. I don't enjoy like looking at people's faces and really just, perform I don't even okay let's get out of out of like my artist stuff but like just I don't know just life I don't really bask in it and enjoy it I just Sometimes. most celebrities say that shit though that they never can bask in in their um anything and I think it's because they work so damn hard and thinking about working hard it's not like that's their problem they think more about working hard than actually like really putting in that work I was worried. Sometimes it could seem like she's just like numb a little bit. You know, yeah, like instead of celebrating, she's like, what's next? Like, what we doing? What we doing? Well, next week I got a show. I bet we're going to do that. What, what, what songs are we performing? Instead of like, really damn, just it. sit down by yourself in a room, like a glass of wine. And like, yo, I just toured with Mary J. Blige. <laughs> like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you got to like, bro, you're like doing your thing. And I feel like. You gotta enjoy it, bro. Like, you're never gonna like get that. You remember what you said? Like, you're never gonna get tomorrow. Yeah, we'll never get yesterday, yesterday back. So like, you really gotta like enjoy life. God forbid something happen, like we not here or, or like, you never know. Like, you just gotta enjoy. Enjoy life. Everything, enjoy bro. Even, everything. Yeah. The little things. The little wins. Don't only enjoy the big ones. Enjoy the little ones too. You know, and the little ones is like. Making it home. Yeah. Oh my God. Safe that's a big thing. and sound that's big. that night. That nigga better speak. Lay in bed and your your Fuck. legend lays on your shoulder and CJ says, oh, nah, "I love you, mommy." Like shit. those are the that's little why ones yeah. that like said that. Enjoy them. Cause nah, yeah. he ain't. I, I I I do enjoy those moments. I will say with with the kids. I think that um what we do now, like we got to be examples to the boys. So it's like. If we're always anxious and running at, you know, they're, they're gonna, gonna be, be the same way. Like yeah. we gotta enjoy the moments and just give them that, so that it could like fall down onto them, so that they will do the same thing. I know I already gave CJ my anxiety, like, and I feel bad for that, but it's like, yeah. and now I gotta like um, reverse that. Me too. Like she said, it's like for me, it's more of a long term thing. Like I think I feel like I, I live too much in the future. And I gotta like live more Slow in the, down. yeah, live more in the present, you know. I be every day I'm be hounding myself, like almost abusing myself, like, why isn't your clothes yet? You twenty you about to be twenty nine, like why what you doing? Like it's been four years. Like it's just bro, like nigga, you're fine. Like you feel me? Like just you Yeah. Um, who was that who was that person that said that they made it later on in life and it went crazy? I think it was Taraji P. Henson, she was doing a speech. And she said she wasn't really successful until she was in her 30s or something like that. If like I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah, and like we be just rushing our you you could rush yourself so much and just like when it's your time, like you know, it's your time. It's your time. Yeah. Enjoy life, man. Enjoy. Enjoy each other. Enjoy life and work harder. It's like we gotta do both. It's we gotta learn how to balance those. Mm. But we don't wanna hold y'all too long. Um, we're gonna let this video end. And yeah, y'all will probably see the winners before y'all get to see this video. So, um, if you haven't heard from any winners or none, go to our channel and look at the last video. It's not gonna be a whole video, it's probably gonna be like a two minute, one minute video announcing the winner. So, if you want to see if you won, make sure you go check that video out. 
All right, y'all, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Good video. Um, I just feel like with them, they just got to get out their own way. They they've been needing to get out their own way, so it's really time now. But anyway, y'all, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Good to the bye.